picture this. A school in the desert in the south of Israel. A young woman was called to be the school director. She was very surprised, but then she decided she's going to do it and has to tackle everything that comes in her way. There was a lesson she learned very quickly. School director has an influence on the whole community and has the power to raise the human capital. That young woman is me. I'm Dr. Shashi Reiter. I'm an organizational consultant, a researcher, and a lecturer. I'm working in Israel and over the globe. Here, I'm working in Bed Barrel in Keshet Center. Today, more than ever, with the coronavirus in a chaotic world, leadership, educational leadership, is facing more challenges than ever. Challenges at Garim Program is carried out by Keshet Center in Bed Barrel College. The program is carried out by collaboration with Education Ministry of Israel and Teacher Center. The 5E model I developed will be presented for entrepreneurial leadership and well-being. The model is comprised of five dimensions based on educational research and the theory of constraint. The theory of constraint provides tools for thinking and communication for ever flourishing of environment. The first dimension is the entrepreneurial leadership. That means that you enable and ask people to dream big. And what we found, that when you give them the opportunity to go beyond the horizons, they come up with new idea and create new reality in the school. The second dimension is evaluation. How do we evaluate success? What will be the criteria? And who is setting the criteria? Who is in the cockpit? Is there the director by himself? Or is it the team, the school faculty, that sits together? And this is how you get a school cohesion. The third element is the ecosystem. What is the environment we are working in? This program is for the Arabic sector, but it can be easily implemented in other environment. So every leader, every school faculty has to take in account the environment they're working, their parents, students. Now in the coronavirus, many students don't have computers. So how they are going to manage? So you have to take in consideration the environment, physical environment, virtual environment, who are the teachers in the school, and how you create a learning atmosphere when some of them are sitting at home, some of them are in school. So this is a big challenge to find and to handle a new ecosystem, physical, virtual, and the human capital. The fourth element is exploration. When we are talking about exploration, we are talking about information. What is the information needed in this time? We see now that we are going of overload of information from one side. On the other side, we have to come up with conclusion. What to do, what not to do, what to take in account, and what not. You as a leader have to prioritize and decide what kind of information you provide your staff and what not. And we have seen during the program that this was one of the most important issues that they have to tackle. The next element is the emotional regulation and the well-being of yourself and others, because this is a very stressful time for teens, for parents, for students, and you are the school principal. So how do you handle yourself? You have to answer people with prudence and empathy. All this emotional side of students, teachers, and yourself has to be taken in consideration. A Garim program is aimed at the Arabic sector for helping schools teams to develop their own leadership. 
from what we hear from people participating in the program and from our own researchers, we found out that the program helps them think and dream big, creating an environment that support all this stuff, cohesion of school and harmonious environment.